folks, I'm Callus, and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is a continuation of the Ultimate Iron Man Challenge Season Zero. I have already died, so I am technically out of the competition, but I'm continuing uh, the playthrough to help test the server. Or server, excuse me, the scenario. As you can see here, I'm, I'm back on Dorana, actually. I'll explain that in a minute. Level 25, 1,076 kills, my one death. Let's close that. Uh, the reason why I say I'm back on Dorana, I did get to Strenuous, and I have charted pretty much the entire planet. There is no moon. Um, but also there is not one single drop of water on the entire planet. So I'm having to come back to Dorana so I can set up uh, water makers so that I can make oxygen because Stranias also is not a breathable uh, planet atmosphere. See right here, 10% and not breathable. So, uh, yeah, figured while I'm here, I may as well also Gather a little more wood. Giggity giggity. Giggity goo. Stick around. Has no trees on it. So let's lights. I uh, probably don't need my jetpack. Well, yeah, always jetpack. I am currently in the Nomad XT. This is my CV. Uh, got my farm going. This is all planted for food and meds and well meds first plenty of leftovers for food down here into the hangar I have spawned in what is this one called oh let's just go this route and look switchblade this is the medium assault version still warp capable. I have also this one. The gun pup armored. Both of the both of these are as you can tell by the SAS are built by Excalibur. Still have the drill hole maker thing which I have upgraded to laser drills works fantastically and of course my plank I did remove one of the construct one of the constructors and put in my little kitchen and yeah, now you can close little shut of doors over the rest of the constructors I have added a ton well, I shouldn't say a ton. I used to have probably an additional 20 cargo boxes on the on the ceiling, but I haven't been using them, so I took them back out. I did add a few cargo boxes. My little medical machines here, storing meds up here as they get made. This one, see, still not even using this one yet. My ammo boxes. I have color coordinated all of these uh, cargo boxes per re resource. See, not much wood left. Anyway, so all of these cargo boxes have one uh, resource in them, and they are all color coded as such. Here I have excess uh, devices that are still waiting to be broke down in the de uh, deconstructor, which is currently, I have built a platform out in space in the second planet. What was the name of it again? Strenuous, yes. So there's a space platform out there and I have just installed a small garden and I have my deconstructor out there because in space there are no clouds so you get 
100% use of the sun, and with the 15 solar panels, I am pulling over one megawatt of energy consistently. Let's uh, grab some to eat right quick. And don't need to worry about oxygen here. So what am I here to do? I am here to put down some water generators. I don't know why I've got this. I shouldn't need it anymore. And I don't know if I really need to put these down. I do have... I have had it down previously, so I did make some O2 bottles, but as you can see, this is what I've got left for O2, and that is getting extremely uncomfortable. I mean, granted, there are a few. Oh, there's a few here. But, uh, I don't figure I really need to push it. What I'm going to do, one thing that drives me nuts is listening to these signals. These ramps and stuff. Always going on and off. Regardless. So we're back at the base location. I guess we didn't quite get it to the ground here. Back at the base location here. I have, for the most part, stripped it out except for the very basic essentials. It's been a while, so my batteries are completely charged up. Oh, we have friends. Let's, uh, I guess go get, gather some meat. Where are you at? Sound like you were out back here. There you are. Next time, shut up when I'm talking. Might live longer. I guess we might as well cook up a couple of pieces of meat. What I'm thinking about doing is taking. I'll get up here. I do still have fuel in here just in case, and so far it's proving to really not be needed. I've got. Two of, only two of these here, huh? Thinking about taking one because I could probably use it more on the strenuous platform. I mean, I'm hardly ever here, so it's not really going to get used. So we'll do like that. Now we have one, an additional one we can uh, store up more power out in space. So, let's go, uh, actually, you know what I also need to do? Uh, I just thought about it, so I need to grab fuel for these, uh, water makers. Fuel making has been a little slow, but then again, I've also not really been putting much effort into it. I've got plenty of Prometheum around. It's just... I haven't been making it ahead of time. I've been kind of making it as I've been needing it. I do have three of the tier three auto miners down on Strenuous. One on Cobalt, one on Magnesium, and one on Neodymium. So first, let's get these down. Let's get you guys making some more water so that we can make more oxygen. Yeah, it's really some about this seed. I've seen other Ultimate Iron Man challengers playing, and they've got plenty of water on their second planet. I don't have a single drop anywhere. I'm curious if from here I can go to... No, I can't look at this map. Until I'm actually within its atmosphere. So that's kind of sucks. Let's see, we can put excess fuel back. We can stow the eggs, I suppose. Well, let's, uh, actually, we got two of those. 
just go get a few of these working as well. Oh, I guess I can put them right here, huh? And uh, what we'll do, meteorite incoming. Wonder which one. What we'll uh, do is we'll we'll come back at a later date and collect water and and you know that was probably in these little bitty machines way too much fuel. I don't think I have the output capacity. Yeah, there's no way. Let's see, 22 hours and a half. Ain't nobody got time for that! Stacks of 20. Let's just knock it down to just over 10 hours worth. I think any any more would be chancing too much of wasting fuel. This is what I've got for fuel that's made up. So drop off the eggs before they go bad. Oops, that's not the kitchen. I better maybe should think about painting these so I can uh, have visual clues. Put that down there. Grab a bite to eat right quick, and <clears throat> I'm gonna take plank out, go gather some wood from the radiated forest because those big trees, I mean, you barely have to touch them, and you, usually you average about between eight and ten wood per tree. I mean, it takes about a quarter of a second with the grinder in there, just you know, it's a pretty good uh, return rate, in my opinion. We were grabbing a bite to eat. That looks good enough. Go up here to... Oh, I gotta get into the elevator shaft first. Stow this uh, other machine here. Because I don't think we'll be needing it. This is all my uh, emergency things in case something super bad seems to happen. I haven't taken that out, but I... I for the ultimate Iron Man challenge, I suppose I could. Well, I'm out, so I'm out of the challenge part of it. So now it's become more of a let's play. So I guess maybe we'll just keep that up. I decorated up here a little bit with, you know, things that I thought were scientific, scientific looking. And you know, the advantages, they, they act as containers, they hold things. I do have my repair console here. See, F button doesn't close that. It should. There's more things that Alien needs to work on. Repair bay, of course, down here. But, uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'll bring back in a little bit. Welcome back. So, I thought I would bring y'all back. I didn't even have to go very far. Look at that. Not even a mile to the, to the closest, uh, radiated forest. Thought I'd bring it back just so I can show you all really how quickly farming wood from these trees is. But it doesn't take long. That one. There are still some uh, Xerax in here, but it should just be. Oh, what would it be? Not overseers, the assassins. We don't have a setup to attack the spiders. I think we can manage them, those ourselves. And if we can't, then, you know, we're in trouble. If we can't manage some spiders by this point in time, we definitely don't belong in the ultimate Iron Man challenge. So if you hit these trees too hard, of course, you won't collect the wood, you'll end up just dropping it on the ground. And I personally, I don't like that. I wish they would take that back out of the game. The 
these trees here, you don't get as much wood from and they take quite a bit longer to harvest. So, not, not worth it in my opinion, yeah. Assassins. Sound like a spider somewhere. Did we miss another piece of wood? See, I, I, apparently another spider. Come here, spider. You're interrupting my video here. But you will provide me with meat and such. What the, did I just lose that piece of wood? No, there it is. That's not the V button. That's the V button. Yeah, personally, I, I don't like it when you hit the trees too hard and they get removed out of your way. It is my opinion, and just my opinion, that I would say learn to drive better. on that one. See, we didn't collect that one, hit it too hard. And I mean, it needs to be adjusted. At the very, very least. See, that's 10 wood right there. I could have lost. That's the other one. I suppose he's up on the... up on plank. the third one go? Surely there's a third one. They're always in threes. Oh, oh well. Maybe. I'm sure. There he is. He must have been under a plank or something. Darn it, I did it again. See, to me, that's just more aggravation than it's worth. Alright, alright. Come on, guys. Well, I guess there's another thing to be had from all this. Looks like we will be also stocking up on our meat and alien parts. Anyway, folks, so... I just want to bring it back and show you this, how fast this collects. It collects a lot faster if you don't have to keep jumping out to pick up the stuff that was knocked down. But uh, you can easily collect a full stack of wood in one radiated forest. I've not seen radiated forest sizes very much. They all seem to be, in my experience, about the same size. So, we'll bring it back uh, in a little bit. Welcome back again. So, I forgot to mention that I did I did go fight and beat my mission on this planet quite a while ago. Problem being, when I was recording, I hadn't noticed that my microphone wasn't on. And my microphone wasn't on because I record with GeForce Experience, I guess it's called. And there was an update last week. And for whatever reason, that update had turned off or either turned off the mic or just changed uh, whatever the recording input was. I'm not entirely sure because all I had to do was go back in into the GeForce settings and set the always on from a microphone back to, well, always on. Uh, one reason why I always leave it on always on because whenever I'm recording you know I don't want to have to forget that it might not be on so I tend to try to simplify things for myself well, anyway uh, 
so I recorded. Looks like oh, there are two there. Did I even chop one? Oh, did I run into things? I don't know, but we'll collect them. Um. So I did complete the mission. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. So, oh, whoops. Not my ram. I did complete the, the week's mission. What I will do is I will set it into the video here to some music and probably fast forward it because I did, uh, I think it took me, I'm gonna say that video creeping in with the tank like I said I was going to do. Taking out Xerax. Controls that were around all those buildings. And uh, defeating the main goal. Oops. The main mission itself. I think it took me. Geez, if I remember right, it was roughly an hour and 15 minutes. So, you know, I mean, that's, that's way too long for. Especially with something with no sound. I figure if I double speed that up, that knocks it down to, what, about 37 minutes? I did it in multiple part videos, where I went in with the Orca scout vessel ahead of time. I took out all of the uh, heavy gun turrets with it, but that only took me, you know, 9 minutes to do all roughly nine minutes to do all was it five buildings so uh, I might leave that one at regular speed that would put the entire if I double speed the rest of it I'll put it up to a approximately 45 46 minutes somewhere in that mark you know even that's a bit long to be watching with no commentary but I don't know I will figure something out I might uh, cut out a bunch of the filler material, the fluff, where I might be screwing around in the main building looking at things too much, or I might just cut out some of the Xerox patrols. I'm not sure how much of that cut you guys want to see, and since how I'm intending on making it part of this video, um, it seems kind of pointless to ask how much of that you want to see, but I will at least show the main building. Looking for more of those trees. I might have got them all by now. Um, you know, the whole point of the mission is to core the building. So, I mean, I want to show at least that. Yeah, I think we've got all of those. Oh, well, maybe there might be more over here. Nice when you actually see in here once in a while. It doesn't last long. There's A. So uh I will you know cut here and we'll get to that. in the house. Welcome back. So, it's only been another, or a couple of minutes for me, because that, I only found one more tree. Let's see, oh, that's the wrong box. We got, yes, this much wood. Now that's, uh, let's just do that, make that easier. 1,092, or 1,000. 292 wood just from that one radiated forest and just from all the large trees. That's, um, that's copper, that one's wood. Dump that off. And I also forgot to, I have a whole nother sh vessel that I forgot to show off. It's up here on the, see there's the orca still here. It's this one here. Merc 
MX-15, I believe, is the name of it. I can go to the blueprint library right here and tell you. This is a small vessel from the workshop. It is the Mark MX-15, yes, right here. So this is what it costs, unlock level 20. Uh, I've seen more expensive. Warp capable, the thing is a monster. Holy cow. I mean, let's go look inside. If for those folks who have not seen this or are not familiar with it, apparently I need to turn off signals so that these things stay open. I hate listening to the ramps, doors close, open and close every time you walk by that uh, sensor. So I mean, tons of storage. A couple of constructors there, a couple of constructors there. The storage in this thing is just phenomenal. What I'll probably do is take some of the storage out and put in a couple of lock armor, a couple more armor lockers. I always like to have three armor lockers. One for small, one for medium, one for heavy. Let's go sit in the seat. Well, let's actually turn this on real quick first. So you do have switch for exterior lights and economy mode on your thrusters. As you can see, for weapons, we have plasmas, lasers, rail guns, 15 millimeters, and the 130 missiles. That is not the homing. Um, let's turn auxiliary on. I suppose we can go for a little test flight here. Now she's big and heavy, so, you know, she's not going to be as responsive and maneuverable as, say, the Orca. But, you know, the Orca is... I'm moving on to bigger, bitter planets, so the Orca is going to get to where it's not going to be effective enough. And this thing does take almost every bit of this landing pad. Kill that power. I don't have a ton of experience with this ship yet, but I mean with all this storage and it's warp capable, I mean, you can go to any planet within range and this could be your mobile base. The Orca, I still love this thing. Uh, it becomes my scout vessel pretty much only. You know, the one thing I don't, oh no, wrong ship. The uh, this one right there. One thing I haven't added to it yet, and it does not come with, is a detector. You know, if you're not familiar with this one, I have made quite a few changes in here, so when you get it from the blueprint factory, it will not look exactly like this. I did take out, I think, one constructor. Uh, there's my three locker, armor lockers like I was talking about. Uh, added some extra storage does come with one fridge. There, uh, there was another constructor in here. So it comes with one fridge. Two fridges. No. Two fridges. One storage in here. Uh, the four ammo crates. You know, there's your your uh, core. And this thing. A ton of weaponry as well. 15 millimeters, plasmas, railgun, laser, and the 135 homing. This one is, well, let's just go take it for a test flight. You see I've already warped with it once. Slowly back out of here. Oh, I guess I don't have to go too slowly because well, the door's already open. So this one, you know, as you would imagine, a bit smaller and a lot more responsive get a lot of lag because I need to relog my game. I just went and mined all that forest, so I changed a bunch of stuff in the world. What I have also done, let's see, level out here. If you can see the the green there above my crosshairs, the intention was is to help try and dial in the enemies. I also have it on under on the bottom. 
the intention was to see in this first time I would experiment with this. Let's not fall off the back, shall we? The intention was to see if it would help me sight in the enemies better. I have all my guns, all my weapons, excuse me, uh, color, color coordinated with the ammo boxes down below. But, uh, yeah. Uh, these things float here because of the blocks below them are half blocks. But with physics in this game, it works and they connect. So that is the hope behind that. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, so I really couldn't tell you if it works or not. We're not looking to park on the ground, we're looking to park inside. Seem to lock on real quick. Are we all the way up into the? Yeah, we sure are. Power off. Let's get out. Anyway, so that is the the vessels. I believe the one upstairs, the MX-15, I believe, is as well as the Nomad here are both made by J.R. Randall. Uh, the tank here and the switchblade are made by Excalibur who is one of the ultimate Iron Man challenge competitors this one here is my creation and I apologize to the creator of the drill hole maker thing because I don't recall off the top of my head who made that and I've been using this thing for so long that I haven't had to well look at it in the in the blueprint, the workshop, sorry, that's the word I'm looking for, words, they're hard. I haven't had to look at it in the workshop to see the creator's name in quite a while. Wouldn't bother me too much, it wouldn't bother me at all really if it would list the creator's name, you know, somewhere in this panel here. You know, it could be right down here, it could be somewhere. All that, did I not, yeah, all that stuff spoiled already? Oh well. So those are, these have, that's not much output space either, is it? That's, uh, but I think these stack higher. These stack to a hundred. But I don't have enough experience with those and the large fuel tanks or the large fuel these packs large fuel packs to be able to say you know how long that will go last these only stack to 20 so they would you know plus there's the purified water we'll just grab this stuff out and we're going to head back to strenuous strenuous so we'll bring you back in a moment. Welcome back again. So now that we've got all the business taken care of, we should be able to GTFO. I do have, as you can see, the four rocket launchers for manual control weapons that I have salvaged from a couple of crash capital vessels. What I need to do real light on the arrest room and the Escosium so I don't have a ton of rocket ammo, which is kind of hurtful because there are four rocket turrets right here on the top of the ship. Alright, let's turn our brake off. thousand. Let's go lock in Strenuous again. Target locked. As long as we're moving more than 50 meters a second, we 
can work. Not entirely sure where our entry from Dorana is to Strenus in uh, relation to our base, but as you can see, I've already found two iron asteroids and marked them out. Looks like our spawn pad is eight some odd miles that way. Uh, what do we got here? Man, he was cruising. Do you see that? I have to assume, I don't know, I don't think a drone would be moving that fast. That was more like CV and warp mode or something. Man, that went by quick. I couldn't even see what it was. I barely saw the red dot on the on the mini map, and he was gone. That's pretty interesting. Let's not crash into the asteroid here. I've never seen him move that fast out here. I still haven't reset the game yet. I forgot to relog. But I did find a couple of asteroids here. That's all I've found. That cluster drone, I haven't done anything with it yet other than apparently build my my uh, space platform pretty close to it. It's within uh, a couple of miles, a few miles. But yeah, this planet, not a drop of water. I don't even think we can get a very good view of it here. Yeah, no, not as good as you can when you're inside the atmosphere. But I have already, I can't say I've uh, charted the entire planet, but I believe I've charted all the POIs and I know I've charted all of the resources. Kind of interesting. I'm still kind of baffled about that. Uh, whatever that red enemy target was went by. This uh, spawn pad here, 47 four by 47 by two blocks. I made this in the creative mode and blueprinted it specifically for this CV that we are operating at the moment. Uh, CV does require a bit of space. I mean, I know there's bigger ones out there and there's smaller ones out there. And what I did there where this I suppose we probably should start working on our in our break ready. Get lined up here. And in the blueprint it is literally just a pad with a core. To get straightened out a little bit more. Don't lock on with a capital vessel. That might be a bit forward. I don't know. Let's uh, find out. Shut off the auxiliary. Turn the big guns back on because we got enemies around still. Oh, gravity. Gotta turn the gravity back on too. One thing that I just discovered and didn't know before, which is, I think is quite helpful, is that gravity from the capital vessel also carries through to the platform we are parked on. So, uh, gravity. And no jetpack. Here's my deconstructor, should be off. I've already cleared, cleared everything out of it so far. I needed a place to deposit money. What I have done is put myself a power switch right here for the deconstructor. Same for the garden lights. I've got a small garden downstairs that I was currently. Oops, those ones haven't grown yet. Making plant fibers with. Eh. Close. 
plant fibers don't spoil, so they can sit in there for now. I still need to go through and this texture was from building the spawn, uh, the spawn pad here in Creative. So look at that is mine and a base 47 by 47 by two. Uh, here's the numbers on it. It's 4,230 blocks, and one of those is the core. So, a lot of concrete, and it is concrete. Anyway, so I think that is going to have to be an episode here, folks. I will bring it back for another one. I just don't know what I'm going to be doing yet. It'll probably be down. On the planet, I need to start taking out some POIs. I definitely need to do a recon of this planet's uh, mission. Don't need my helmet on inside the ship. And you know, from there we'll be able to start formulating plans. So, uh, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Have a good night.